welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. We've got Carper News now. Uh, I am back down here in the house, and you can see by the uh, dust in it, I've obviously been up to something today. Uh, what I'm decided to do is I'm still waiting on some parts, so I can't uh, get everything under the engine bay situated. I can't do some other things. So what I'm going to do is, is over the weekend, excuse me for the weird camera angle, uh, over this weekend, I'm going to get uh, some of my neighbors over. We're going to put the body on the frame, uh, the body of the Cobra on the frame. And uh, I'm going to start doing body work on it. I'm kind of in a body work groove with 32, so I might as well be doing it here. Uh, hopefully, I can at least get it roughed in and get it in the first coat of primer before the uh, parts I'm waiting on from Hurricane show up the aluminum, the gas doors, and all of that stuff. But what I'm going to do with the body is, is I have started doing some work on it already before we uh, put it on the uh, frame. We're going to do that tomorrow, but let me show you what we've got. Okay, what you're looking at here is where the mold seams were. If you recall on the 32, the first step was getting rid of the mold seams. Uh, and the nose is just about there. Uh, it has the seam that ran across the top of this right here. And... Uh, over the over the top of the uh, headlight and around the body so we've got that just about docked out slicked out uh, around the edge here this is looking good right here's where the seam came in right here and you can see this discoloration that might scare some people because you can actually see through it I don't know if you can see that on the camera but you can see my fingers through that that's not a problem because all it's knocked down is the black gel coat. That still has thick fiberglass on it. No problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sand all this down. I'm going to skim it with this stuff, if I can turn the can around, which is uh, Z-Grip from Evercoat. That's what I use to skim this stuff with. And then I'll work that out, of course. And once I do all of that, I'll be uh, shooting some primer. But this body seam comes down here comes back over here which I've started getting that knocked out goes up this here of course I've got to do use a different approach I'm using a combination of the DA and a what they call a taco block and no it's not as good as you think it is but if I as soon as I can find it I'll show you what the taco block looks like I think it's on the other side of the car uh, to sand these pieces down but where this is I just have to get a piece of sandpaper and feather it and contour it around and I'll do that once it gets down on the frame but this has worked out here. It came around here. So this is all smoothed out. Got a little bit there, but the tail light goes over that, so I may not worry about that. This is smoothed out. It goes down and around here. Over to this side. Got a little bit of a ridge left there. I've got to sand that a little bit more. I've reached a stopping point today, and I'll have to tell you why that is. Um, again, on the other side, you saw that right there. That's done. And I've started doing this piece here and got to right there. Now, first of all, let's do things in order here. I mentioned a taco block. This is just a sanding block that is shaped like a taco. And it's a little bit more flexible than my other Dura blocks. I purchased this today at English Color while I was out getting supplies. And I have to say, I like it very, very much. Now, as far as the reason I stopped for today is my ancient Walmart... Camelon House filled piece of crap DA finally gave up the ghost today. I've had this thing probably 15 years at least. It finally gave up today. So I've got to take care of that. But in the meantime, what I've also done is I've drilled a few holes. This emblem right here goes on those two holes right there and on these two holes right back here. So those have been located and are good to go. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is we're going to my neighbor Shannon, who is ever helpful and never complains, and I keep waiting on him too because I ask him to help me with this crap all the time. You're a good guy, Shannon. I appreciate it. But uh, once I get it down on the actual body, down on the frame, that was my DA falling over. It's already broke. I'm not worried about it. But once I get the body down on the frame, I will finish out what I'm doing. I've got a couple of holes to drill up here, which if you can see where that's scribed right there, that's where the windshield frame goes through, the legs for the windshield go through. I've got to cut those out. 
Uh, and other than that, I think all the holes on the body have been cut. I've got to do some finishing on this because it's not perfect yet, uh, but that will get done as well. One of the things that I've done is I cut the holes for the uh, bumper bolts to come through here for the hoop that goes around here. This area right here, you see this white stuff. I've already scraped quite a bit of it off, but this is a wax that they layer the uh, mold with so the body pops loose earlier. But what it sometimes does is it leaves some divots. So I've got some filler work to do here. That's pretty deep right there, so I'm going to have to come in and skim all that. I'll work all that, of course. I've got to uh, finish out these holes here. It's an expensive endeavor, but I think I'm going to use these for what they were, what they were uh, supposed to do. Uh, you can put a duct on this, and it ducts fresh air into the, uh, into the cockpit. So I think I'm going to go that route, money allowing. But those ducts and the uh, kit to do that is enormously expensive for what you get. So uh, I'm going to have to wait on that just a little bit. But that's going to do it for this day. And I'll pick up the video of this tomorrow where we will be lowering the body down on the uh, frame. And I'll continue sanding and doing body work. Well, here we are the next day. Gotten lots of work done already today. A bunch of little things. I'd like to touch on those right now. So let's take a look real quick at what we've got done. The body is sitting on it. The bad news is, is I do have a little bit of a clearance issue on the hood so I do think I'm gonna to have to go ahead and put a hood scoop on it which is not a major loss a little disappointing but not a major loss but I have gone ahead and done some more cutting I've got the post drilled or the post slots drilled for the uh, windshield I've already had the windshield sitting on here but I don't want to debut that yet because that's a big deal I've also got scribed the areas where the uh, windshield wiper posts are supposed to go so I'll cut those in just a moment Coming around back, you won't be able to see this, but if you can look in there and see where those four bolts are right there, that is where the uh, fuel tank vent is. Let me see if I can get up here. Of course, the idea with that is it's supposed to be as hidden as possible, so that's where the fuel tank vent is. I've also done some other preliminary things to get everything lined out. I finally got my DA fixed, and... Uh, she is slowly but surely sorting herself out. But I have gone ahead and pre-test fit the uh, windshield and I got the holes drilled for the windshield brackets to be mounted. And I'm going to put that rather expensive and extremely fragile thing back in the box here in just a moment. Okay, just to rehash what I've done today, other than what I mentioned earlier, uh, the hood's on it, but we've got some fitment issues to be sure. Uh, the whole hood needs to go that way, uh, trying to figure out the uh, best way to attack that problem. I think what I'm going to do is on the U-bolts uh, that uh, mount the hood, I'm going to widen the holes that the bolt mounts on and move it back. That should buy me hopefully enough room. These are good to go The windshield, uh, where the windshield sets. I've got the pilot holes drilled for the windshield wipers, so those are located and ready to go. And I think I am going to put an end to this one right here. I may come back tomorrow or next couple of days and start body work again. But I think I will call this video done right here. Now coming soon, uh, me and another owner of a Hurricane uh, Cobra here in this area. His is actually a lot closer to finished. Uh, we are going to the uh, big... Uh, Southwest uh, Texas Cobra meet uh, coming up in San Marcos between uh, San Antonio and Austin this weekend so I'll have uh, some video footage of that that'll be coming up real soon but for now I'm going to call it a day thank you for joining us come back again be sure and hit subscribe and uh, comment if you have any questions or if you want to pass anything along I look forward to hearing from you thanks